Heat is a service we hope we never need, and most of us never will. But if you ever end up in an air ambulance, the real trauma could come with a bill. Dennis investigated. Dennis. Alicia, oftentimes patients are unconscious. They're not the ones who call for an air ambulance, but they are frequently asked to pay for it and make that journey from shock to sticker shock. In the worst of times, air ambulances are often the best option. A heart attack, a pulmonary embolism, a severe head injury, right? So these are circumstances where you need care, you need it fast, and it's probably gonna save your life. I was in an accident um, Easter Sunday. For Chambersburg's and, Justin uh, Poe, there was the accident's was pain, then the suffering of the bill. I was shocked to find out that it was $41,000. Gary Karwaski fell off the roof of his cabin. He hurt his back and broke his bank, charged more than forty-two grand for the flight. While I greatly appreciate the service that was provided, the whole affair caused me more mental anguish than the actual injury which I suffered from the fall. I've had people in my in my office with these bills saying, what am I going to do? State Rep Tina Pickett chairs the House Insurance Committee, but airline deregulation of the late 70s in Congress bars states from regulating air ambulances. I have one gentleman who's definitely in bankruptcy over it. The state insurance commissioner seen bills as high as $50,000. Was a consumer on the hook for that? Do they have to pay? Yes. It's not a satisfying answer. I, I agree. I mean, that, that's why we're here, right? I think uh, that is the problem. It costs money to have helicopters on standby 24-7, 365, placed strategically throughout the state. According to the industry, an air ambulance flight costs on average $11,000, but the companies rarely collect that. Two-thirds of patients are on federal Medicare or the state's Medicaid. Medicare reimburses just over five grand. Medicaid and PA pays 200 bucks plus $2 a mile after the first 20 miles. Basically that mileage charge is less than a taxi cab would get in the city of Philadelphia. 11 Medivac CEOs, including Hershey's Lifeline, sent this letter to lawmakers asking for a hike in PA's Medicaid reimbursement. But if the service on average costs $11,000, and two-thirds of the people are paying less than 50% of that average cost, the cost is going to increase for others. Others, like Justin and Gary, privately insured, but their companies may or may not pick up the whole tab. They're responsible for the balance. You shouldn't have to choose between your life from a little literal perspective and your life from a financial well-being perspective. Gary hired a lawyer, ultimately settled that $42,000 bill for 7,500 bucks, but calls the fight over the flight painful. When my wife and I are now driving somewhere in a car and happen to see an air ambulance in the sky, we look at each other and as if to say, I wonder if those poor people have any idea what awaits them. Now, both the air ambulance industry and the insurance commissioner say if you are hit with one of those massive bills, reach out to the company and work to negotiate the price down. If that doesn't work, call the insurance commissioner's office. They will try to help. Alicia. All right, Dennis, thank you. Follow up tonight to our investigator story on air ambulances. Some patients upset after getting bills for forty, even fifty thousand dollars for that helicopter ride. A longtime local EMT worries that story will have people refusing the service, which he insists would be very bad for their health. A serious accident, an injured patient, trauma. The clock's ticking. You have a problem. And I look and say, can I get you from here to there in under 45 minutes in a ground ambulance? Tom Whitfield's been an EMT at Silver Spring Ambulance for nearly 30 years. He's been on scene and seen it all sometimes makes the call for an air ambulance because it's about time. And if we can get you to very definitive care in under an hour, the chances are go up exponentially. Once you start getting past that, then your, your chances of survival for a significant injury start declining. Are air ambulances saving lives? They are indeed. They no are. question? No question at all. But there are questions about the financial pain air ambulances inflict on Pennsylvania patients. You're sort of an average citizen with a, a nice medium range job. You're handed a bill for 30, 40, 50,000 dollars. 
what now? There is no way you're going to be able to pay it. Lawmakers call it a problem, so does the state's insurance commissioner. I certainly worry about the impact on the consumer. Some think air ambulance companies are taking advantage, but they counter that they're providing an expensive service and reimbursements from too many patients are too low. And they add, they're not ambulance chasers. Helicopters do not self-refer. They do not hover you know, over major highways. They only respond when called by EMS. And Tom notes there are state guidelines and protocols on when to call an air ambulance. Though patients can refuse, he says they shouldn't. Our object is to get you to where you need to be so you can recover. And uh, if you come back on your feet and start complaining about the bill, that, 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 that suits me fine. Because you're alive to do it. Because you're alive to do it. So, exactly. <laughs> Now, if you do get a whopping bill from an air ambulance company, the state's insurance commissioner wants to hear from you and can perhaps help get that bill lowered.